How about a 2005 two bedroom, two bath on the water within walking distance to the clubhouse for under a hundred thousand? Want to join us for a look? Stay tuned. We know 55 plus manufactured housing communities offer a wonderful lifestyle. They are some of the best retirement communities in Florida. Florida Mobile Homes for Sale explores this further while answering the question, are there still cheap houses for sale in Florida? Yesterday's Florida Mobile Home Parks have been transformed into today's manufactured home resorts. Join us as we look at a waterfront home with resort amenities in a 55 plus community for under a hundred thousand. Is this a fit for your financial and retirement goals? We'll offer some insight. Hello, I'm Russ Watson and I help folks choose a Florida manufactured housing solution that fulfills their dreams and meets their needs. Let's dig in. Vero Beach is located about halfway between Port Canaveral and West Palm Beach. It's about an hour and 40 minutes from Orlando Airport to the north and a little over an hour to West Palm Beach Airport to the south. It is a small city with a population under 20,000, but is considered a highly desirable address to live within. It also has a small airport. At the time of this video, it was served by a couple of smaller airlines with flights available to a few places up north. There is also an airport in nearby Melbourne, which has a couple major airlines servicing it. Barrow Beach is home to several large manufactured home communities. Village Green is one such community, located just off the main east-west drag, very close to nearby shopping centers. Publix, Walmart Supercenter, and Sam's Club are all right down the street. There is a public golf course right next door. There is everything from comedy to off-Broadway hits at the Riverside Theater. The Vero Beach Museum of Art has both permanent and moving displays, making regular visits to it a must. And then there are the beaches. South Beach is eight miles away, and there are half a dozen or more beaches up and down the coast from there to choose from. Unlike the West Coast, these beaches are generally not crowded. Some have lifeguards and facilities, and some do not, but they are all well maintained. Now let's head into the park. Village Green is actually three phases combined in one park. Each phase has its own clubhouse and pool, with other amenities spread out between the three clubhouses, and a tennis court facility on one part of the park. Residents may use any clubhouse and any amenity, but there is a sense of village surrounding your own clubhouse. The home we will look at in this video is in Swan Lake. This was the third and final phase of park construction. Mail is picked up at the clubhouse. The nice thing about this arrangement is you are quite often saying hi to the new neighbor who you might otherwise never meet. As we head into the clubhouse, I notice they have several events coming up in the next few days and are decorating for St. Patrick's Day. Looks like these folks get together and party. The multiple bulletin boards full of announcements, updates, and general information reinforce the impression this is a very active community. Pictures of community leaders adorn the wall of the main hall in the clubhouse. I like this much better than the dentist office decor. I see they have bingo set up, a stage and a podium for meetings and presentations, and the tables have little decorations for the upcoming holiday. This is another sign of an active community. There's the serving window for the kitchen. Let's go inside and see the facility they have for the resident cooks. It looks like they have everything here they need to produce full-blown banquets. 
multiple stoves, refrigerators, and freezers speak to the ability to accommodate a fairly large dinner seating. Every cabinet is labeled, which makes it easier for new people coming in to help with meal preparation and cleanup. There is also a spacious library with small meeting and seating areas. I'm told the television set is used to put on sporting events that are happening during meetings and events so sports fans can stick their head in the library and get the latest score. I took a look out at the pool, and even though it's a bit chilly today, I see quite a few people enjoying themselves. The view out over the lake is really pleasing, and there is a pier with a covered pagoda that would be a great place to sip a cup of coffee. Well, let's go meet Dennis at the house. I think it's just over this bridge. What a beautiful view. A bit windy, though. Uh, I think this is the one. Let's see. Yep, there's the four-star home sign. Let's park the car and head in. Okay, we got the car parked. Let's go inside and see if Dennis is here. Nice storage shed here at the upper part of the carport. Come on in. How are you, Russ? I'm good. Wow, this is a really nice place, Dennis. Very nice, very nice place. Yeah. 2005 Palm Harbor, 1,568 square feet. Inside washer and dryer, tray ceilings, vinyl windows, crown molding. How about the roof? Original roof, shingled. I like that oven arrangement. Double oven. Oh, actually, that's a microwave on top. I take microwave. that back. Microwave. microwave and then oven. I have a Center Island stove top like this in my house. I have one. I love it, but it was it was the first time I had one. So I'm turn this on. I'm gonna make sure they work. Looks like they have the breaker off, which is smart. How about the furniture? Is it included? Not a problem. Whatever's here stays, you know, which is basically the bedroom furniture, master bedroom, and then living room and dining room, and all the appliances. Wow, this is the office. But it would make a really great craft room, too. I could see someone who likes sewing taking this room over. This is pretty much the standard guest bathroom, combination tub shower with vanity. Kind of handy right across from the office. In this design, all the living quarters are on one side of the home and the entertainment on the other. Next up is the guest bedroom. That's kind of an odd looking bed. Yeah, it's a... What do they call these trundle beds, I think? Day bed. What do you do with that lower part? You just, you'd put another mattress down here. Yeah, and hope the person on the top doesn't roll off the bed. <laughs> That's a nice built-in set of drawers with a closet, perfect for a guest. Here's the laundry room with washer and dryer along with some storage. Those front loaders are supposed to be more efficient. I still have a top loading washer. I wonder if these are better. The master bedroom is on the far end of the house. It is spacious with plenty of room for a queen size bed and maybe a king. There is a large walk-in closet and double windows for lots of natural light. Having a ceiling fan in the bedroom is nice. It keeps the cost of air conditioning down and provides a little extra cooling in the summer. There's plenty of room for additional furniture with lots of available wall space. Dennis, what do you like about this bathroom? Walk-in shower, a sunken bathtub, it is actually a jacuzzi tub. I see the shower has quite a fancy fixture 
that you could use standing up or sitting down. I see they have a window in here too for natural light. There's also a nice storage closet. Good thing they don't have a TV in here. You'd never get out of that tub. How much is the lot rent here, Dennis? Rent here on the water is eleven thirty-six. What are some of the activities available? Bingo, well you can see it twice a month. From all the phases, here's Name That Tune, Music Bingo, Travel Club, Regular Bingo, Dinner Dances. There's a golf league, there's a bowling league. They keep trying to pick up pickleball. Um, darts on Mondays now. I think the number one attraction is that feeling you get looking through these beautiful windows of being right on the water. And it has great views of the lake. The open concept design would let me be cooking while mingling with my guests without them getting in my way. Let's go look at the shed, the backyard, and the outside of the house. There's a shed with plenty of storage space, as well as a window AC. With that AC unit in place, this makes a nice little workshop, even in the summer. If it were mine, I'd cover the walls with pegboard. It's so handy. Let's go take a look at the backyard. It's so peaceful back here. What a great place for a cup of coffee and a book in the morning. Yep, exactly. It's a great view. How far away is the clubhouse, Dennis? You can actually see the clubhouse. Walking distance for many. Or a real quick shot with a golf cart. I see they have a separate covered spot for golf cart parking right back here. It sure is nice being right on the water. And on the corner, so nobody, nobody on one side of you. That beautiful palm tree blowing in the wind says it all. Welcome to Florida. I hope you enjoyed our tour of this home. I'll be doing more homes in the future. If there's a particular type of home, area, or pricing range that you would like to see reviewed, leave me a note in the comments. If you'd like to see more videos on homes I have already reviewed, just click on the link. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.